Mm, hello. Let's take a listen. Uh, this is from Hunger Games uh, Deuce. Let's take a listen between Donald Sutherland and uh, Philip Seymour Ben Killed Offman. You like that? Because screw Hollywood. I don't care about these scumbags. You want to make fun of me and judge me because I'm making fun of a dead dude? Okay, fine. Let's take a listen. Shut down the black markets, take away what little they have, then double the amount of floggings and executions, put them on TV, broadcast them live. So fear. More fear. It won't work. Fear does not work as long as they have hope, and Katniss Everdeen is giving them hope. She See that? That's some real truth right there. So you gotta hold on to your hope, hold on to your faith, and that piece of divine inside of, it's in each and every one of us, from the Father, from the Creator, whatever. And you can call it, you can call it truth. You can call it the Christ. You can call it light. I don't care. Just let it shine. Because it's the only way you're going to make it through this dark world. And we got some even darker times that are coming upon us. And you've made it this far, right? 2015, man. Some crazy times. But you've made it this far. Yeah? And you survived your so-called friends. Even though they've turned your back... I'm Excuse me. They've turned their back on, 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 on all of us. On you and, and me. Just like your family has. You know, no, nobody cares about this stuff. They think the Hunger Games and all these movies are just entertainment. No, they're truth. Nothing more true has been spoken than just right there. Fear doesn't work without hope. They want you to lose hope. And they want you to, to lose faith. And they want you to succumb to them, to their fear. Well, you survived your so-called friends... Like I just said, your family. Hey, and maybe even yourself. Because me, I was my biggest enemy, my biggest and worst enemy, but I overcame that. So, regardless what you've overcome, friends, family, yourself, that's the hardest part. You can take whatever they throw at you now. So... Use that what's inside what's inside of you. And that's that's some light, man. I don't care what anybody says. People get upset or offended by the word Christ. Fine. I don't care. Truth, light, Christ, let it shine. It's the only way through this dark, dark world. And I just wish we could put all this theology and Christ and God and all this stuff aside. Because who cares, man? How about we just take down the pedophiles? You know what I mean? Who cares? How about how about this whole God and Christ thing that nobody wants to talk about? How about we put that aside? We take down these pedophiles and then we work our way from there. If you don't believe in God, don't believe in Christ, fine. You go your way, I'll go mine. Let's take down the pedophiles. Let's, ta let's take down the beast. Let's take down the system, and then we work from there, right? Because look at the world around us. Do you support it? Do you believe in it? Do you think the politicians, do you think the Republicans, do you think the Democrats, do you think Obama, do you think Mitt Romney is going to save this? Do you think Ben Bernanke, Janet Yellen, Mario Draghi, Putin, do you think these guys are going to save us? It's sick. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank Big Thanks as always because it's really important to me. It really is. To my subscribers and supporters. If you survived your friends, family, and yourself, you got what's coming in piece of cake so let that light shine only way out of this dark world all right thanks for watching